All right, everyone, just doing another test. So I'm basically downloading on this computer, the Mac, I'm downloading a couple more games. So that's what you guys are curious. I just need more time to download. I do not have fiber internet, but I figure I might as well just go based on the feedback that I was getting from everyone. I got the Zephyrus G15 over here on the right. And then I have the, of course, new M1 Max uh, 32 gigabyte version on the left. And there are some improvements or tests that you guys wanted me to do comparing the systems. So I'm going to do this all off screen, but I just wanted to read what the FPS was. You could graphically see here, it's actually saying 19 FPS. So obviously, I mean, I don't have a 4K monitor or 4K camera, so I can't zoom in. <laughs> Maybe I need to upgrade some equipment. But over here on the left, just reading it, this is the Fox test. It's uh, 24 FPS. And then someone was telling me in the comments to test what the settings were if I go to different viewpoints. So over here, I did the one where it's solid. Um, I probably should have clicked them at the same time to see which one happens first. Um, they're both kind of loading. There's no status bar, so I know when it's done. She got frozen here. And it looks like the Mac version is ready. but the FPS is like two FPS on both systems. Uh, really can't uh, drive anything. <laughs> okay, let me try to do it at the same time for the next one. So it'll be an accurate test. So now I'm gonna click it at the same time to go to the rendered view. almost simultaneously um, viewed at the same time. And I'll press the space bar at the same time. So actually kind of similar performance. They're both getting about two FPS on each system. Um, so let's do a rendering test on this one. So if I go to render image at the same time, or if I press F12, let's just see which one wins. I believe they're both trying to render at the same time. Uh, looks like my Zephyrus came out ahead. Let me check, this one says 11 seconds. This one says 13. I could test that again, obviously. Could have been a clicking issue. Let me just do that uh, one more time. So I'm gonna press F12. So let's do that hotkey. I can't. And I'm gonna click at the same time. I mean, obviously, the second difference isn't gonna obviously make that much of a difference, but. Again, yeah, this time uh, it tells me this one rendered at 8 seconds and this one was 8.64. So, an updated test for you guys. Um, so that was the Fox one. I'm not going to save. I'm going to open everything from cold. Oops. Um, let's open the 913 version. So again, I tested this already before, and um, maybe I didn't hit space. Okay, yeah. So I'm getting three frames per second on the MacBook Pro 16, uh, 32 gigabyte M1 Max, while the uh, Zephyrus on this particular scene, at least, is getting 15 FPS. And I think it is actually a little bit more lag drag this around at the same time you kind of see it's not as laggy as this one yeah you kind of see it's choppy here 
Hi, Jack. Metal button. And then let's do a render image test to see how uh, this works. So actually what's going on right now is this one on the right is saying loading kernels. Wow, this one has loaded the kernels. So I don't even have an estimate here at the moment. The M1 Max says it's going to take 20 minutes. Just leaving it alone here. This one hasn't even started to load the kernels. Um, yeah, that's the way. So this one is starting and gives me a 15 minute estimate. It's probably the most um, telling right now of the systems that probably the integrated architecture is giving you better performance. Um, this one's still has not loaded. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Not exactly sure what's going on with this one. It, I think it's doing something, but I cannot tell. So it's still doing the render kernels while the MacBook is chugging along. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this to run. <laughs> um, this one does seem kind of heavy. I'm gonna end the test and go to the Nishida. So from FPS perspective, exactly the same, 25 FPS on the first render. I'm gonna go ahead and click the next one. So I actually did the, the, left, the one on the left um, after, and it looks like it's done loading, I think. This one you can still see some of the textures aren't loaded. Could be an SSD issue. But now that it's stabilized, the frames per second are both at about 17 FPS. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the next one. Just click them at the same time this time. So this one is the rendered view. My fans are actually kicking up on the Zephyrus. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, some of this I might dub over my audio to get better audio quality. Um, this is all recorded off my Sony a6000, so not off my computer, which has the NVIDIA broadcast. Again, one of the reasons I like this machine. Nothing seems to have been rendered yet, and the FPSs are fluctuating. This one's spiking up to 42. This one is doing the same, but spiking up to like staying at 30. Nothing has actually appeared on screen though. So I'm gonna stop both of them. Let's just do like a little zoom in, play around. it's like clickable it's 
still seems smooth. And then let's do the render test now. Three, two, one, go. So the M1 has already started processing. You can see it here in this bottom left. And then here on this small screen. So the time remaining right now is one minute on the left MacBook M1 Pro. And this one, it's increasing, but it's at 240. And of course the fans are on, on you probably hear that. Um, so yeah. So probably letting this play out. Looks, of course, the M1 is obviously faster. Um, at, for this sky test, uh, time remaining 46 it says that it's been a minute already. So I kind of press them at the same time. Let's just see what, let's let this one render out and see what the last, um, render settings are or the render times are. Okay, so this one finished out at 1 minute 51 seconds, and this one is still going on, says it has about 30 seconds left. Um, but we'll just wait instead of the estimated time to give you the actual results from this test. Okay, so this one finished out now at a minute later at 2.31. So, I would say some of the times for the rendering FPS playback, the Zephyrus did win. For example, in the Fox one had about like 20, F, like a couple FPS faster, but consistently on the rendering, which is probably what you're gonna wanna use this for, um, the, I think just the faster SSD speeds and of course the M1 Max able to just render it faster and load all the assets. There was that one which I did, which was the 913 test, um, the latest, a test they had where I couldn't even start the rendering. So uh, just some more input for you guys considering getting this machine or the windows. Um, you know, this is not a bad machine and I use it to do OBS mine and edit. Um, and I will say that if you're just gaming focused, I'll give you an update on how some of these like gaming downloads are going. I got Overwatch downloaded. I'm trying to get Crisis Remastered. Just, just straight up, a lot of the games just don't load. So uh, still that compatibility issue, um, you know, I can't get, uh, let's see what I have downloaded. Apex isn't gonna run, Ascent runs laggily, Back for Blood doesn't have, uh, it has that uh, code protection thing, uh, anti-cheat, so it's just not running. Um, I think if you're just into gaming, you need to get a Windows laptop um, and maybe just do a Windows desktop or something or GeForce Now. Um, but anyways, that'll be for the next video. Really, I'm supposed to be talking about Blender. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other tests you want to see.